Hey everybody guys, it's Redneck Matt here. Um, whew, tired, long week as you can see from my sorry video guys. Um, uh, I've got nothing to do. And it's really sad, but I figured I'd do lawnmower stuff, try to cheer me up. Um, so, took off the old hub and uh, off the axle and took off a couple of these nuts and bolts. One goes into the transmission, which is this one. And that one over there goes just to hold these two metal pieces together. I'm putting oil on the transmission because, well, my transmission had no oil in it at all. So, it's probably running really slow. Um, look at that hub, man. That thing is rusty. That right there is just powdered rust. It's pretty bad stuff, guys. Had to use the old air wrench to get that, uh, that little oil nut off there um, and uh, uh, I'm just sitting here uh, getting ready maybe work on the other side too see if there's anything else there I wanted to do uh, right here's the Cub Cadet we got it's got a 20 horse Kohler Courage this one over here is a 25 Kohler Commando and this one has a 26 Kohler Courage Plus so this is the most powerful mower we got but mine's the best, obviously, since mine has a real normal transmission and not a uh, hydrostatic transmission or an automatic transmission. But I gotta finish greasing that thing up and then take her for a test drive, and I might do a little filming when I test drive it, guys. And uh, if you ever want to know that loser right there, Becca has a camera and she's a loser. So, uh, but uh, if any of you guys are wondering, maybe let's do a hood stack. If anyone wants a mower hood stack? I got enough popping here. One of my buddies, Nick, he's wanting to. Help me, have me come over and work on his mower. Um, but right now I gotta finish putting this thing back together after I oil up the transmission and haul this deck back down there. Cause I don't need it no more cause we got the Cub Cadet back plus we got the other three. So now she can go back to being off road and master. I fixed there's a deck problem, guys. I didn't have this on there tightened all the way. You can see right there where really it grinded in real good. And you just had to tighten that nut. So, wow. But I got this right here holding on because I could not find a... Uh, Cause I could not find a uh, bungee cord. That's probably weird because I just like zoned out. Um, now, guys, there's a reason I'm keeping those little buggers on there. Because with this, with the deck holder all the way up, they're actually not in the way. Because, I mean, these little holders right here come down as low as these would if they were loose. The only thing I'll hear is I'll have wobbling and stuff when I'm bouncing around, but I can get used to that noise. I also got to rewire the gas pedal because it broke again. It'll probably take a while until I get that perfect, perfect sectional wire. It's not even, not weak at all, and stuff like that. Got to tighten down the brush guard. Oh, not the major guys. Mud flaps are gone. Kept breaking on me, so took a baseball bat and snapped the other pieces off of this section. So, no mud flaps no more. I'm not going to need them anyways. I want to get muddy. So, you know, if everyone wants to do my transmission, this one goes backwards, that one goes forwards. Now, I don't know why. And there's no spider gear in my transmission, guys, because my transmission isn't like that. Uh, my transmission is more of a... Gear oil, everybody. For chainsaws. <laughs> Why not? Um, but my... Uh, my... Um, uh, oh, crap, what was I saying? Transmission doesn't have a spider gear at all, so I can't lock my girl. So I'll never have a locked rear end, which means I'll never be able to do anything really awesome. Now, if I was to have one of these little girls, where I had that big one right there, which has a hydro on it, I could lock that son. Lock that freaking, uh, lock that rear end there, and then take that sucker off road. And it looks like an off road monster, anyways, with that, uh, how the, uh, how it all was set out and stuff. Turning is amazing on that thing. Look at that crap. That right there. That's a really good turning on this sucker. Um, 
I really like this mower a lot, except it's kind of weird. Everything feels like it's swoosh forward. Get your throttle right there. Deck cutting speed. Lower. My grasping power. Got your choke still here. Parking brake. Cruise control. Um, the Husqvarna has a sweet bumper on the front of it. That's the one I tried to mock when I made mine out of wood the first time. Uh, his transmission. It's an automatic transmission. So it's not a hydro, but it's an automatic. Um, still got to go there. Uh, gas choke. So I could put a gas pedal on that one if I owned it. And it'd be pretty sick. Because then I could be like, I could be like, boo, high RPMs, but like low speed. And it'd all be on my automatic transmission. Oh, I could put that automatic transmission full speed. And then have my freaking gas go through all. Oh, that'd be so sick. Um, this one obviously is a normal hydro. With this gearing here and this parking brake there and all that stuff. A little hidey compartment. And weirdest thing I've ever seen. Choke. What? It's weird. Battery into the seat. Uh, actually, battery into the seat's kind of how I wish my door was. Because then I could take the battery out, put the battery right there in between the little section right there in the seat, and use that as like a secret compartment to hide stuff in or have like a little chest in or something. Um. So, yeah. I'm going to keep putting a wheel in this transmission till she's full. Full is how much she needs to be full. And then uh, take her out romping because it's starting to rain, everybody. And hopefully the front steering don't break on me because the front steering cotter pin, one side of it, is popped out. So I have a feeling it's going to break on me. And then I literally won't have a steering bar until I can get a new one. So I'm hoping for that, guys. Uh, ordered a DVH bracelet uh, Wednesday. So hopefully that comes in sometime this week. This coming week, I guess is what I should say. Um, I don't know if you guys know what DBH is. The Dipper's Brotherhood. Um, yep, Eddie Lips. If you ever listen to his music, like I have promoted him before, I think multiple times. Uh, listen to Eddie Lips, guys. He's really good. He's really good. If you don't like rap, you can get over yourself, but he's really good. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll put it together and make a quick romping video, a short one. You know, that big one's still not out because I'm YouTube's being a pain. So, uh, just wait, guys, and then I'll show you that new uh, video, maybe that romp, major romping video today, and then uh, some other cool stuff later. I don't know, maybe. It depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm not feeling like a good day or I'm feeling like a really, really, really bad day, then I probably won't make a video. But if it's just a bad day, I might make a video. But I might be a little bit depressed during the video. Kind of like I am now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep up with Redneck Bros. If you guys are waiting for the trials episode, I've got some of it together, I think. It's really hard how I recorded it, so I don't know if I can actually get the files when I have to re-record it. Uh, so it's not going to be a amazing or be anytime soon because Redneck Josh works a lot and uh, he barely gets to come over anymore. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and as always rate, comment, subscribe and keep up with us guys. And this is Redneck Matt signing out.